What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the PC spec changes to the Elder Scrolls Online with the launch of Update 41. It says they'll be updating the recommended and minimal specs for PC and Mac, though those on the current specs will still be able to play. It says while ESO has been highly optimized for a wide set of hardware over the years, the slight change in minimum specs is necessary to ensure a continued level of performance for older systems. With the shift, we'll be able to maintain that performance with newer content as well. In Update 41, ESO will no longer be supporting the Windows 7 operating system for future compatibility. You will still be able to play on Windows 7, but there is no guarantee that we will continue that this will continue to be the case moving forward as we are no longer including Windows 7 in their testing. So if you're still playing on Windows 7, they said you still will be able to play Update 41 on Windows 7, but going forward, future updates, you may not be able to. So they're recommending that you upgrade, of course, uh, you know, they kind of are encouraging everyone to upgrade their operating system when they can with the official Windows 7 support from Microsoft, of course, having ended in 2020. So they're wanting everyone to, of course, go ahead and at least upgrade to Windows 10. That way that in the future with other updates that you will still be able to play ESO. Like I said, as of right now, you can still play uh, ESO in Update 41 if you're still using Windows 7, but in the future you may not be able to. So they did make a few slight changes to the specs for PC and Mac. So the PC recommended uh, system requirements now, of course, is operating system of Windows 10, a Intel i5 2300, or an AMD FX 4350. The uh, system RAM is recommended at 8 gigs, the hard uh, hard disk space is 105 gigs free of HDD space. Of course, the GPU DirectX 11 compatible card with 4 gigs of RAM. So that's an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 970 or an AMD Radeon RX 570 or higher. Of course, the DirectX compatible sound card and of course, an internet broadband connection. When it comes to PC Minimum specs, you're looking at an operating system, of course, of Windows 10, that i5-2300 or an AMD FX4350 processor, uh, of course, 4 gigs of RAM, 105 gigs of hard drive space, the DirectX compatible video card with 1 gig of RAM for a GeForce 560 or AMD Radeon 6870, that DirectX compatible sound card, and that internet connection. And when it comes to Mac, the, me, uh, the minimum Mac PC requirements is going to be Mac OS higher, a high Sierra V version 10.13, a mid 217 Mac or newer, the GPU memory at least 4 gigs, the hard, uh, hard disk space of 105 uh, gigs free on your HDD, and of course that internet broadband connection. They say to kind of coincide with the minimum spec changes, they've also adjusted the recommended spec graphics cards and the medium, high, and ultra presets in game. The change in the recommended spec graphics card is to ensure a target of playing on high settings at 60 FPS. With the medium, high, and ultra preset changes, they are not changing your existing settings. If you're currently on any of the medium, high, or ultra presets after the Minimum spec change, your settings will remain the same, but titled custom rather than medium, high, or ultra. So they're just going to kind of adjust what settings you're going to see on your PC with that minimum spec change in medium, high, or ultra. So things like depth of field, uh, screen space reflections, ambient occlusion, and some other things are going to be adjusted in each setting. So in medium, high, and ultra, you will see these things kind of adjusted with each one. Now, when it comes to ultra, they're doing a little bit more. Of course, it says ambient occlusion is now set to screen space. These screen space reflections are now going to be set to high. Uh, reflections, of course, are now going to be set to high as well. And depth of field is going to be set to circular. So when it comes to ultra, you're going to have a, a better, of course, kind of image there on your PC if you're running those ultra settings. But overall, just remember, whatever you have your settings set to now, nothing is going to change graphic setting wise. You're just going to see that custom tag instead of medium, high, or ultra. And of course, when this new update is released, you may want to kind of mess with those settings to see if you can run maybe your, uh, you know, your PC 
or your Mac at a higher setting to make the game look a little bit better. And of course, these adjustments should help with that. But leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what you think. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.